We all use online services that solve different tasks. Often we need to transfer data from one online service to another. Zapier provides an easy and fast connection between different apps. Now we'll see how Zapier works by setting up an example integration between Typeform and SendPulse. Typeform is a user-friendly and popular service for creating contact forms, and SendPulse is an email marketing service. You don't need to be a programmer or to hire one for setting up an automatic transfer of emails from your online store, CRM, or a contact form to SendPulse. SendPulse offers subscription forms, using Typeform, that collect subscribers' names and emails. It can be easily added to your website. Let's set up sending an automatic thank you email after a user submits a subscription form. For this, we need to create a separate mailing list in SendPulse. All contacts from our form will be added to this list. Now set up an automatic email that will be sent to every new contact. Click the Make a Zap button to create a new integration in Zapier. Enter the name of the integration in the Name Your Zap field on the top left side of the screen. And below that, you can see every configuration step. Here, we need to choose an application from which the data will be transferred. Start typing to see suggestions and click on Type Form. Then, select a Type Form trigger. In our case, the trigger is a new entry when a user fills out a specific type form. First, you need to connect our Typeform account to Zapier. To enable access to Typeform data, you have to enter your unique API key. When you click the link in the window that opens, you go to your Typeform account. And here is your API key. Click the Test button. The connection has been successfully completed. Next step is selecting the form from which the information will be transferred. At the last step, you should check if the data is sent from the form to the Zapier correctly. Here, you can check that everything looks OK and click the Continue button. Typeform setup is successfully completed. Then, you need to connect SendPulse. It can be done the same way. Choose SendPulse from the list of apps. Then, select the action you need. In our case, it's adding a new subscriber to a list. The next step is connecting your SendPulse account. Select the mailing list into which the new subscribers will be added. Then select the form fields where emails and names are stored. At the last step, we can test the entire integration. Now you can see what data is sent from your form to your mailing list. Click the Create and Continue button. Test the integration to make sure everything works as expected. The data is automatically sent to SendPulse and a new subscriber is added to the mailing list. Click the Finish button and the integration setup is finished. But our integration now is not active yet. We need to turn on our Zap. Now your Zap is running and sending the data from one online service to another. The integration you just set up is here in the list of your Zaps. Refresh the page in your SendPulse account. A new contact is added to your mailing list from Typeform. An email was automatically sent to this contact by our autoresponder. Let's fill in the form one more time to test the integration once again. Reload the page and you can see that another contact appeared in the mailing list and an email was automatically sent to them. Using Zapier, you can transfer data to SendPulse not only from your contact forms, but also from your e-commerce store, your website, CRM, and from many other online services. Sign up now and connect your system with SendPulse.